They did very well. Uh, we praise the Lord for them. Praise the Lord for the Spirit. Tontuwa ako doon sa mga adult choir natin. Napansin niyo ba't gano'n? Ang naibo ang kapiling pag nakita ko yung mga adult ladies God. Sa luwa, ang naganda para silang mga, para gusto mo sabihin, sa hotel ba kayo? Diba? Diba parang gano'n? No? Para sa mga taga five-star hotel, no? Tapos pag nakita niyo yung mga lalaki, parang gusto mo sabihin sa kanila, ano po, dalawang chicken? At saka... But, dalawang... Two separate responses yung they invoke sa akin. Pag nakita ko yung mga ladies, I go, wow! Ah, uh, ano po? Ano, dalaw, ano room po ba kami? Parang taga five star hotel, no? Oh, pero baka kausap ko yung mga lalaki, parang, parang gusto ko more than the manok. Taga box po ba kayo? No, parang gusto ko more than the manok. Isang hot chicken, saka fresh lupia. Nakaupo ko doon, bigla ko nakaroon ng nagbutom eh. Well, no, what's up? Parang gusto ko ba kayo sa labas, ah? Ganun talaga eh, no? Pero pag-play po natin, makalimover yung adult natin, no? kasi kakagalon, medyo yung sa long pass na po yan kahapon. Kakagalon eh, no? So, uh, uh, play po natin sila. Okay. Let's talk about storms. We've been talking for, about storms for three weeks, sabi niyo ba? Ay, asin po yung babag yung pastor, puro yung storm yung may yung ano eh. Ay, mas maganda naman kayo sa desert na pag-usapan natin, mainit ano. Talk about storms, stewarding your storms. Kasi for this year, we're talking about stewardship, parang Everything about Christianity is stewardship. After you come to know the Lord as Savior, pagkatapos mo makilala si Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, lahat ng bagay tungkol sa buhay mo ay tungkol sa parang alaga at pagkakatiwala ng Panginoon sa'yo. God has given you something to steward, take care of. Stewardship is not about money. Wala kinalaman ng pera dito. It's about making sure that na-accomplish yung will ni God sa buhay mo. So last week, last last week, but last week we talked about stewarding your storms and we looked at the model of Jesus to go forward to God. Nakaharami niya. You know, we understand about responding to storms, why we look at the model of Jesus and there's a garden of good separately. He was in a storm. No? He was in an emotional, psychological storm. Hebrews chapter 4 says that Jesus, our high priest, went through all of the same things that we go through. Umiyak siya, felt lonely, tempted, everything that always like as we are, it was victorious. So he said, how do you do it? How do you do it? And so Jesus, in the night he was going to be betrayed, right after the Lord's table, right after the Last Supper. This is what happened. And then he, the company, the disciples, left the upstairs room and went to the usual place in the Mount of Olives. So Jesus, after the Last Supper, went to the Mount of Olives to pray. And he walked away about a stone's throw away to make the long story short, to look at the disciples. And he said, Sabine, pray. Pray that you will, what? No, Sabine, Father, if you are willing, please take this cup from me. Familiar Sabine, prayer na yan. Yet I want your will to be done and not mine. Then the angel from heaven appeared and strengthened him. And he, was, and he prayed more fervently. And he was in such agony the spirit that the sweat of his ground felt like drops of blood. And at last he stood up and returned to the disciples, only to find him asleep and exhausted from grief. The papa din pala sa disciples, no? Exhausted from grief. Why are you sleeping? He asked them. Get up so that you won't give in to temptation. Last week we said, Pag dumari ayon ka sa bagyo, Pag nagpe-pray ka, pray to listen. Ano ibig sabihin ng pray to listen? Look at in Luke chapter 22, Jesus left the upstairs room and went as usual to the Mount of Olives. Meron ka bang pinupuntahan sa pati ng buhay mo that when you go through storms, how do you seek the Lord? Bakit? Because where you usually go, what you usually do, dictates your response in times of storms. Nagkakasubukan yung totoong gawi mo pag dumaan ka sa ira. 
Yeah. Lumalabas ang totoo. I remember uh, about two or three years ago, yung mga anak ko dahil kami pang asawa, both lifeguards, my father was a lifeguard, so marunong kayo mag-swim, my wife was a competitive swimmer. So, so to swimming kami, I was teaching my son how to swim. See, Franklin was a natural swimmer. Para sa San Mamina, basta tumuntang lang siya. Natural. He got the strokes right. He got everything right. Isang turuan lang. Isang maghapon lang. Bam, bam. Bada na stroke ka ka. Tuntua ako. The next day, I was speaking in the Highlands and may swimming pool sa campsite there. And I was at the other end of the pool. Other end of the pool. That's about 25-30 meters out. At the other end of the pool, guess what? Nakita ko si Franklin and decided, Dad! Masasweeping ako at your heart. Kasi alam mo na yung gagawin ng anak ko. Lulundab siya. Tandaan mo, isang araw pa lang siya natututunog ako eh. Nagkaroon naman nila pa ba yung ano? Nagpapanik kayo kaya hindi ka makasalita? Hindi na mag-process yung buhay mo? Hindi ka makagalaw? Tuwan-tuwan naman ako kasi nasawa ng Pastor Vincent Vicencio nandun. Hindi ko alam, si Ate May Ali pala hindi marunulog ako eh. O, asawa ng Pastor Vincent. So, andun siya, Pastor Pastor Vincent, sila mga asawa, 9th degree martial artist, hindi marunulog ako eh. Sabi mo, paano pa nasuntukan na nung kaksa sa tubig? Dahil mas mataas yung kuwit ng sinturon mo sa akin, tutulak na lang kita kasi mag-away tayo. So, ating sa'yo ang anak, kung tumayon right in front of them, and guess what? Franklin decides, Franklin decides to jump into the middle, the deepest part of the pool. Pagaling ko. Lumuntan siya doon. And he starts doon, and he starts doing this. And si Mayra, Pastor Vincent, natarag ka. Salamat, brad, ha? That's all they can do, you know? As a gita, since we practice trying to freestyle, dog style, cast style, grasshopper style, kahit talo, and it was sinking up and down. Alam niyo, matagal na po ko naman lang, I was four years old. By four years old, I could swim on my own. Dahil kung sabi ng tatay ko, dalawa ang sport na ang mahalaga sa buhay. Swimming, saka martial arts. I agree. Sa dami ng injury ko, hindi na alam kung pinakama-importante lang in sport. Yung pong pinakama-pilis na lahat na hindi na ako sa tanong buhay ko. Ang bilis. Pati ko na bulat eh. That was the fastest time I've ever had in my life. Bakit? Kasi yung anak ko na lulud eh. Alam mo, hindi ako nabis eh. Ano ba stroke ko? Butterfly? Restroom. Sisisid ba ako? Iba ba? Backstroke ba? I did not. I did not. Tama ba yung sequencing ng pinko and body turn? Tama. I did. I just swam as fast as I could. Hindi ko na inisip kung tama ba yung stroke ko? Tama ba yung rhythm and timing ko? Tama ba yung breathing ko? Kasi parang pakiramdam ko, hindi ako humingi eh. Simulas ko na ng dulo. Hanggang kami ng dulo. Right? What was important was what I did in the storm is the result of my practice. So Jesus, sa gitna ng kanyang bagyo, went to his usual place because your current state, yung buhay mo ngayon right now, in your storm, is a direct result of where you usually go and what you usually do. That's out of your practice. Pastor, ang gulo ng buhay ko. God said, Bible says, God does not offer confusion. So kung may confusion ka, Brad, sa iyo yan. Hindi sa Panginoon yan. You pull up to a day. But that's you. Some things you understand. Some things you understand. Some things you pray. Don't pray, but pay attention. Sabi ni Jesus, Father, meron ako will. Pero pwede ba yung will mo na lang? We also learned last week 
And he says it clearly revealed. You see, you are not meant to go through the storm alone. You cannot store your storms without the instruction from the God who allowed your storm. Kaya nagkakal na bulag mabubay kaya natin po minsan is we don't get instructions. Si Jesus mismo nag iba eh. So kailangan niya bumalik to the Father. Father, pwede ba mo magdala ito? Do you have instructions in your storm today? I mean, you're, you're in church. Pero, honestly, meron ka bang gabay? Doon sa pinagdadaanan mo ngayon. Anong sabi ng Panginoon sa'yo? Tungkol doon ngayon. Pag nalulunod ka na, doon ka palang hihingi ng tulong, medyo late ka na. Okay? We also understood, as I said last week, that you don't always have to know the plan of the Master. But you have to trust that the Master always has a plan, and that his plan always works, and that it is always meant for your good. Take a moment, take that, okay? Isa, isa, isip po lang, kasi if you're here today, and your plans don't seem to be working, tas medyo mabulo, medyo naging iba ka, this is yours today. Okay? Kasi, we're gonna move from praying to praying to listen, and today, we're gonna move from there to walking. When you walk in the storm, don't just walk. Walk to follow. Maraming Christiano, gadalagalak lang. You're walking around, wandering in the storm. But in fact, maraming Christiano must be seen kakaimo during the storm. May brag part ng Christiano imo yung pagdumal sa ano, ang unang isip nila, Oo, oh, oh, ano mo na ko? Ano na ang kaya sa buhay ko? Tapos kakanta, Lord, why me, Lord? Do you know that Jesus never said, why me? When you walk in the storm, walk with the intention to follow. Ano yung ibig sabihin, Pastor? Back to Luke. Notice what Jesus says. Sabi niya, Father, if you're willing, kung okay lang po sa inyo, please take this cup from me. Yet, I want your will to be done, not mine. Let me say. And then the angel came and appeared and strengthened him. Notice that word, dead. Ano yung transition po yan eh? Ibig sabihin, meron, meron susunod. Only when Jesus said, Lord, masunod po yung kalaoban mo. Then, the angel came and ministered. Okay? Nagbabodel si Jesus para dumaan sa bagyo. If you're wondering, ngayon, like that, as you go through a storm in your life, Bakit ang tagal sumakbo ng Panginoon? Bakit ang tagal niyang dumating to my rescue? Sabi ng choir, Oh no, you never let go. Paano ako, matagal na ako ni let go? Bagsak lang ako ng spiral ng bagsak. Maybe this is where you are today. Kaya ka nagsastruggle in the storm. Pastor, are you saying that I should be saved? Pastor, no, no, I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is that you may be just walking, so I'm asking you to stop walking through your storms. Start following. Stop walking through your storms. Follow him in the midst the storm. Bakit, Pastor? Because the harder the storms are, the harder you should follow. 
Notice what Jesus says. After the angel came, he prayed more fervently. Bakit, Pastor? Because God is more interested in how you walk than what you say. Minsan, dami namin salita. Bila Kristiano, dami namin ko ano ano, dahil extra motions. Was one thing I learned from my dad that I try, 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 try my best to do it. He always says this, and if you're around me long enough, you will hear it from me eventually. Sabi niya, anak, ganit ang gawin mo ha? Sabi niya, kasi ano ko eh, very emotional, ito na pa na kapo sa nanay ko. Very emotional akong person when I respond. So over the years, I've turned to learn to push that back in times of decision. Sabi niya, anak, ganit ang gawin mo, anak? Make the decision first. Be emotional after. So if you're around me, you know that's how I work. Anak, gumawa ka muna ng tamang desisyon. Tapos, saan ka maging emotional pagkatapos? Bakit? Kasi po, pag napang-planin ka, hindi ka na makakagawa ng tamang emosyon. Pag yung anak ko nalulunod, tapos sa talaga, yung anak ko nalulunod, paano yung napapasa niya? Ano ba yan? Para Lord, ano ba? Abay, balik dumating ko, napatay na! Diba? Because God is more interested in how you walk than what you say. Pastor, how do I follow my pastor? Walk to follow? How do I walk in the storm and yet follow God? How do I do that? Well, a few things I need to see So how should you follow him? How should you follow him? Notice what the verse says. Let's just go back just a little bit. Father, if you're willing, let this cup of suffering be away from me. Yet I want your will to be done. And that by then an angel appeared and strengthened him. Remember the pattern here. How should I follow? How should you follow? Surrender to the sovereign. Notice what it says. Not my will. Give up your I will to follow His will. Give up your I will. Alam niyo, but times is trouble. I've been thinking about yung word na sovereignty. Ang laki ng word yan, it's a huge word. No? Ang laki ng word na sovereignty. You know this is sovereign? No? Pag sinabi mo sovereign, siya ang may ahari, siya ang may akda, siya ang simula, soul, soul sovereign, siya ang absolute, walang lalagpas sa kanya. You know why we struggle with sovereignty? I remember Sigmund Freud said, the father of psychoanalysis says, Christianity is a crutch for weak people. Ang Christianismo daw ay isang saklay para sa mga tao may hina ang utak at may hina ang isip. Hindi kasi nila kaya mabuhay ng walang saklay. Tama? Sigmund Freud died as a cocaine addict. The father of modern psychoanalysis, modern psychology, says to Christianity, may hina ang utak niyan. Kaya sila nagdaganyan kasi hindi nila may tindihan mabuti, hindi nila kaya basta gumawa sila ng Diyos para tulungan siya sa buhay. And siya namatay. What's interesting is Anna Freud, anak ni Sigmund Freud, is a Christian. Tama? Interesting. You see, we struggle with sovereignty. Ano yung bakit? Yung absolute power. We struggle kasi pag kailangan natin pumasa sa mas malakas, sa atin, ano, feeling natin, helpless tayo. Alam tayong magawa. Tama? Tama? The demo na ako sa dalit. May na ako dito. Ah, ito na dalit na. Charlie dito. Ito. Ito ang struggle with sovereignty. Ako ang tatay, siya yung bata. Tama? Okay? Charlie, punta ka doon. Gusto mong pupunta doon? Sige, go, punta ka doon. Pumilit ka, force it. Sige. Lakas ang mga, lakas ang mga, dalawang ka. Struggling with sovereignty. Bakit? 
Kasi po si Charlie, kasitimbang niya yung sapatos ko. <laughs> Hindi kasama pa ang katawan mo. Strike your spirit. Daba? We're not going anywhere all day long. Mababagod siya kahit hila, pansaktan, mababalihan ng buto, makakalas lahat ng bagay, pero hindi ako bibitaw. Ako ang sovereign sa buhay niya. Tama? We struggle as Christians with sovereignty kasi piling natin, kung makakap, imposible ikaw na nasagot, kaya ko pong gawin. So we're forcing the issue and we're fighting with sovereignty now. So wala ka yung presentations, kaya wala ka yung Christians, imbis na masolve yung problema mo, imbis na matulog ka na mahimbay, imbis na mapaayos yung buhay mo, imbis na magkabayan ka, lalo ka nasasaktan. Lalo ka nahihirapan. Lalo ka malalim yung problema mo. Jesus modeled it. He could have just said, what did the Spirit say? God, be a member of the triune God. Go in one with you. Go in one with you. Tigil lang itong kalawa ko na ito. Let's just redeem man. Finish. Jesus could have said that. Same level as he lay. But what did Jesus say? He says, Father. Ano yun, Father? Abba. It's an endearing term. Tay! Kinikilala ko po ikaw. In your store, when was the last time you said to God, God, whoo, ang hirap sa mga ito, God, but Abba, Tay, Father, you can't have your will and His will at the same time. Hindi pwede sabay. Kailangan may isang pasunod. Kailangan may isang pasunod. Kailangan may isa. Hindi pwede ka. Hindi pwede ka. Pwede mo makuha ko yung gusto ko. Gerto, gerto, gerto. Kailangan may isang pasunod. Alam mo ba bigat? Pag nasa balikat mo yung decision, if you put the I will before His will, then the burden is on you to fulfill the will. No? Tama? Tama? I remember, sabi ng tatay ko dati, mga bata pa kami, sabi, awal, nag-aawal kami. Magkapat, magpinsan. Kami na pas may will. Nag-aawal kami, tungkol sa saging. Mga bata, we're part of the stupid states, no? Amin na rin, amin na rin. Sabi ng tatay ko, anak, pag dinito Miguel, bibigyan ko kayo, tapos isang pili sa akin, pakakain ko sa inyo. Hindi! Amin na rin, nag-aawal kami. Pumunta ang tatay ko, doon sa tatay ko kami rin, no? Pumunta sa, nababuto sa palengke, bumili, tapos isang pili na sa akin, kainin niya. Pag tumigil, ikaawal niyo. No? Isang linggo ko kung minasiyan ata, no? Sa dami na sa akin, at di ba rin ang buko sa butang ko, eh? Hindi ako makapagupit ako ko, eh. Isang pili ko naman sa akin pakain sa'yo, mga 15 piraso ka tayo. That, from that day, for several months, baka amoy lang na sa akin, nagduduan na ako eh. Sa akin, kahit bala na ako, ayaw ko patulad eh. When you place your will above His will, you put the burden on yourself para solusyonan niya. Eh gusto mo pala anak eh, o sige, tulad niya. Sa bahay namin, that will is in operation. That, sino ba susunod? Ikaw ba o ako? Ikaw o sige, bahala ka. You want to walk in the storm? Following down the storm? Surrender. Surrender. Your I will and follow His will. What do you mean, Pastor? Let's, let's dive deeper into the idea. When you say surrendering to His will, that is to acknowledge the sovereignty of God in your storm. Another big word, acknowledge. Stop fighting against the sovereignty of God and start resting. Huwag kang makipag-away sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Magpahinga ka doon. Pero pastor, hindi ko alam kung ano susunod rest in it. Kasi He knows. 
It's useless to struggle against sovereignty. Pagod ka lang. Pastor, you mean to tell me na ang Panginoon, ganun lang kalupit sa akin? Oo, hindi po. Tandaan niyo, sovereignty. You know the beautiful thing about sovereignty? It doesn't change. Hindi na babago. Ang plano, listen to me, ang plano ng Diyos, the plans of God in your life, doesn't change. It's always constant, never, ever changing, always in your favor. Kahit na mag-rebelli ka, hindi nagbabago yan. Ikaw ang nagbabago. Kahit maging disobedient ka, hindi nagbabago ang plano ng Diyos sa'yo. Ikaw ang nag-disqualify ka. Maraming tao dito, pero kanyang damit sa closet nyo, mga ladies, na close, damit nyo na favorite nung college kayo. Hindi na sa kasya. No? Yung dati, malaki na nga yun eh. Size 12, ngayon 21 ka na. Ang tawag doon, matured. Tama? Every time you go to your closet, lalabas mo yung damit, kasama ko, wow, susunod ko yan one day. Yung damit na yun, nauso, nawala sa uso, nauso, nawala sa uso, ngayon nauso na ulit. Di pa rin kasya. But you say, what day? Susot ko rin yan. May tanong ko sa inyo, sino may kasalanan? Ang nagbago ba yung damit? Common sense na po. Ang nagbago ba yung damit? Mga kapatid, pag nagbago yung damit, delikado yan. Oo. Kung ano usok. Ha? Kung pili lang ka, tayo mo talaga. Kung pili lang ka, maong ka, dati kasi ako sa'yo. Ngayon din ba ka na? Mga misis, pag yung asawa ng lalaki, pinakausap yung dati ng maong. Pag ako ng tuhaga. Hindi naman ang bago yung dami. Ang nagbago sa'yo, pasto yung asawa ko, lutod ang lutod, at ito ko yan. Ano ba ba yung close and close change? So, it was not change. It's still the same. You change. I change. Tama? The Bible says in the book of Psalms that though before you were born, God numbered your days before you even walked. Pag nagbago ka sa Panginoon, ikaw ang nagbabago. Pero ang plan ng Panginoon para sa iyo is still the best for you. Kaya sometimes we, we become selfish, emotional. So tayo mas good. Notice what he said. Father, if you are willing. I love verse 49 in the NLT. I quoted it there in verse 49. Many of us don't see this part kasi we only look at these verses pag panahon ng Lenten season. So lubalak daw tayo, no? Nakulang tayo si Jesus, lumuha ka ng parang dugo. Pag next time si Peter, nag-alabatang ganyan niya. Nangitak na. Actually, hindi po si Peter lang mag-isa. In verse 49, if you look at the Bibles, in verse 49, it says, Lord, should we fight? We brought swords. Say it there, dear. Some of you probably never seen that. So verse 49 of Luke, chapter 22. Lord, should we fight? disciples. We brought swords. And immediately, ito yung kwento, and immediately si Peter, as always, na muna, kumukot, tumaga, and Jesus said, no more of this. Tapos kinuha niya yung tenga, kinabit. And the rest is history. The first case of plastic surgery. No. Lord, we brought swords. Notice what Jesus says. No more. Come on in. Some of you are going through storms today. And it's time for you to shame. James, come on in. It's time for you to say to yourself, Igilamunem. 
Some of you are going through things in life today. Nagdalala mo lang decision yung sa buhay niyo. It's time for you to say, "Tama yan." Some of you are here, and God has been good to you. Ang bayin ng Dios sa yon, rescued you, provided for you, taken care of you. Alam ka para ng alam, reklamo ka para ng reklamo. Paling pinogali mo. It's time for you to say, "Enough, tama yan." No more. Some of you are here, and you fail, and you fail, and you fail, and you keep making wrong decisions. And that is the solution. It's time for you to say, "Enough, Nayan. His will is sovereign in my life today. It's time. No more of that." Even Jesus said that. Some of you just go crazy over the smallest things. Enough of that. Some of you die in blessing ng Panginoon sa buhay mo. Ang dahil pagpapahala ng Diyos sa buhay mo. Angat ka pa ng angat. Enough of that. Enough of that. Enough of that. Some of you make mistakes over and over and over again. Pato ng pato ng mistakes because it's all about you. Selfish ka. Ikaw na rin importante. Ikaw na rin masusunod. Ikaw na rin kawin ka. Enough of that. And say, God, kalooban mo na po ang mananay sa buhay mo right now. Notice the disciples of Jesus, do we fight? Baka lang, ang team kasi lang sa mga disciples, kasi naman yung picture na renaissance, karamihan ng pictures na sa disciples, ano eh? Ah, yung ba mga ano sila? Mga karamihan, galing sa French, renaissance pictures. Bakit po lahat ng, lahat ng mga apostles, sa mga painting, meron gano'n. Meron lang dito sa ulo. No? St. Peter. St. Paul. Matthew. Puro meron lang dito sa ulo. No, these guys were to fight. These, were, these guys weren't just a bunch of, you know, mga push-offers na, you know, ano-ano lang. Yeah, wala ba ito ang mga ito? Patay kong patay. You're talking about Peter. Hardened. Matigas sa mukha. May konti pita mo ba? Parang sa lipa. Palagay ko ba? Edited na ito eh. Palagay ko na lumabot si Judas. Parang tita si Judas. Dahil na nila eh. At this point in verse 49, the soldiers were coming. Sabi ni Pedro, ala eh. Ah, ako yung nagalitang din eh. No. Eh, pizza ni Ate Mir na yun. Sa ulit pa sa Dutch. Buni pa siya no. Ah, abay do. Sige, magigantian na kayo tamaan. Tagamoro yan. Hindi yan basta-basta. Nakikita ko na si Peter, James, and John at kung mga isda, naglalabas na mga ano, balisog. Ha? Si Andrew, nakasama niya. Kapag, kapag ka nang nilumpay siya, maraming nalilapat niya ng bakal. Kinuha yung talim. Amoy na! These guys are ready to fight. They brought swords. No wonder di sila makatulog. Ngayon, guess nila. Akala niyo ang tubig lang siya, doon tumatabi mo. No. Si Jesus prayed and prayed. Sila, they're ready to fight. Kaya the Bible says, they were exhausted of grief. Ayaw niyo makatulog kasi they were looking for a fight. Gusto nilang masunod ang kanila. And Jesus says, no more. It's time for you to die. Sa gitna ng storms natin in our life, to say, James, no more. Some of you are here and you come from an abusive home. Nang bahay mo abusado. You were abused physically, emotionally, sexually. Lahat na in abuse. It's time for you to say, enough, no more. Hindi na tumawa muna sa buhay ko. Enough, no more. A new word na acknowledge. Such a huge word, acknowledge. Nakikita mo na sa Proverbs chapter 3 verse 6. Kasi gusto ko sa akin yung three, five, eh, no? Sa nang pakinggan na so poetic. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. And do not lean on your own understanding. Sarang pakinggan, no? Yung pangalawa, 
the verse, medyo may God yung pangil. Sabi niya, in all your ways, acknowledge. Alam niya, acknowledge to seek His will about your will. Lord, ito po yung gusto kong gawin. Pwede po ba yung gusto mong gawin? Ito yung pangarap mo. Anong pangarap ng Panginoon sa iyo? Eh, si Trevor, ito yung plano mo. Anong plano ng Panginoon? This is your plan. But I want God's plan for my life. You see, He will only make your path straight when you follow His path. Proverbs 3. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. What I love about that word, in the original language in Hebrew, it wasn't just, itutuwid ng Panginoon. Ang sinasabi niya, kahit ba'y ko, ang pakiramdam mo, tuwid. Lagi na ba kayo ng tao? Na sila'y sumusunod sa Panginoon. Sa gitna ng baka na to, alam ko marami kayo, gusto ng tulungan ng mga members natin, Pero sa totoo lang, habang nag-worry ako, ay umaga, gabi, ang kayo mga kasama, it's like, tawag ako pa sa ganito, tawag ako sa Pastor Jones, tawag ako sila go, tawag ako sila ganito, chicken mo sila, chicken mo sila, Dennis. Yung buhay mo, brunin ka na eh. Kasi nabuworry ka na, no? Tapos sila mag-host ng picture. No. Yung, yung church nila, hanggang, hanggang bewa, hanggang tuwod, at tubig. No. Tapos na smiley face, feeling abused. Ano ba? Feeling abused. Ako rin ang pranin nga ako. Kasi di ba, pag ang tao, kinikilala ang kalooban ng Diyos, lahat ng tao na babaliw sa pranin sa sitwasyon nila, pero sinanap nila. I remember uh, an old, old song, kung mga bata, kung mga tanda nito, alam nito eh, sabi ng song na nito, Kinakata ko sa Sunday school eh, dati. That's, this is what I appreciate about old songs. My problem today with marami, although I love worship music, ako na introduce ka sa church natin, ang ayaw ko kumisa sa worship music natin, paulit ulit yung sinasabi. Nakainis. Pero, and I love the wordiness of old music. Sabi rin sa old music ito, My Lord knows the way through the wilderness. All I have to do is follow. Gabelo. My Lord knows the way to the wilderness. All I have to do is follow. Do you follow? Do you follow? Acknowledge. Lord, hello, Gabelo. Are you praying for something today? Are you in a storm today? Sa gitna ng storm mo, are you doing your will? Or you say, God, ito po yung gusto kong will. But Lord, kalooban mo ba ito? At gusto kong sulit mo sa iyo. Because your Lord knows the way to the wilderness. All you have to do is follow. What, what do you mean, Pastor? Stop one. Start following. Stop fighting. Start resting. Stop fighting. Start resting. Stop wandering. Palabu labu. Fight with people. Start following. Start following. Because your Lord knows the way for your wilderness. All you have to do. This Father. Dear Father, we come before you this morning. We acknowledge, we know that. Na Panginoon, alam mo po, alam mo Lord, ang daanan po sa amin. All we have to do is this Father. Lord, today, 
Let us bow. Lord, today, let us seek you. You know the way in our wilderness, in our storm. All we have to do is follow. Lord, we struggle with sovereignty. Help us, Lord, to Render our I will stop struggling, start resting, start resting. A few hard part of you, but the link will pray to listen. Walk to follow the Lord. Help us to walk to follow in our storms. Alam mo, Panginoon, yung pinagdadaanan ng mga tao na dito. You know what they're going through. You know the storms that they're walking through. You're not hidden from it. You know everything about it. So God, help us to walk to follow. Walk to follow. Mas marugdug kang sumama sa Panginoon at panalangin sa Panginoon. 
The harder the storm, the harder you fall. Siya ang tumaraming mga anak ng Diyos dumataan sa bagyo mag-isa. And Jesus says, it's not my will for you to go to the storm alone. Follow him. Follow him. Maraming Kristiyano, kaya paulit-ulit na lang. Kasi hindi lang sa ayaw sunod ng taman, mayaba. They struggle with sovereignty. Pride yan. Paulit-ulit na yung problema mo noon pa, tapos ganyan pa rin, wala bang nag-struggle against it, ang tawag dyan yaman, akala mo, kaya mo makipag-struggle with the sovereign God, mapagod ka ka din. You're gonna get really tired, and really hurt, and you're going to grow yourself away from the blood of God. Para kang magiging yung tao na may ari ng damit, inalis mo pagkakasya ng damit sa'yo. Fit yourself back in and follow God. Because your Lord knows the way to the wilderness. All you have to do is follow. Follow. <clears throat> follow. Just follow. If you're here saying, Pastor, you know, I, I, don't know much about Jesus and talaga ba kaya yung gawin sa buhay ko? I began, that means it, your relationship, it must begin with a relationship with Christ. Do you know Jesus Christ as your Savior? Meron ka bang time sa buhay mo na sinabi mo, Panginoon, simula ka yung oras na to. Ikaw ang magiging Diyos na buhay Patawad po, Panginoon. Forgive me of my sins. I want to start following you. Would you follow the Lord today? Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. The Father, we come before you. Continue, Lord, to speak to us, to move with us. Ikaw, Panginoon, ang masunod sa buhay natin. Help us to stop struggling with your sovereignty and start resting. Help us to stop wandering kung saan saan and start following you. Kung kalooban mo, Panginoon. I pray to your Lord that you would that we would seek you, Panginoon, in such a way to stop walking and start following. And Lord, we will praise you today. We will honor you today. Help us, Lord Jesus, to see, Panginoon, in plan to sa buhay na denies mo ka with Help us, Lord, to stop wandering and start following. Start acknowledging, Panginoon. Kinikilala, Panginoon, ang kalooban mo, Panginoon. Sa ibabaw ng kalooban mo. Lord, to that we say, 